The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. That is for the ECW Heavyweight Championship. The legend is here. A metamorphosis of destruction is on display. He may not dress like Satan himself anymore, but he's still down with the devil and ready to get medieval tonight. The dead man's opponent is about to fight for his life. Yeah, the dead man loves to dish out punishment. And I'm sure tonight will be no different. Uh, here comes the awe-inspiring, high-flying Hall of Famer. A man who lives his life way up high. I do not envy this competitor at all. This superstar is going to have to contend with the unmatched striking and power of the Undertaker. Introducing the challenger from Death Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, the Undertaker! And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the ECW Heavyweight Champion, Rob Van Dam! Looking at the champion, I guarantee there is no doubt in their mind as to who is leaving this match with the title around their waist. It's the structure that's going to make the difference in this one, folks. These superstars can act all nonchalant all they want, but when you see that structure and the door slams behind you, I don't care who you are, you shudder inside. You know what you've been there, Corey. That's why there have been so few WWE superstars who have ever had the guts to step inside the structure for a Hell in a Cell match. The thing that makes this so much more insidious than a simple cage match is there's no escape. The door is padlocked, and the only way out is by pinfall or submission. Or by stretcher, maybe. There's always that. There's no way out, no disqualification, and one fall to the finish. Corey, how does a superstar get the win in Hell? In a cell, you gotta bear down and face your opponent head on. 
The task at hand is the most important thing in the Hell in a Cell. Using the Cell as part of your offense is also highly advised. until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Oh. Oh. Saw that one coming. Wrist lock applied. He gets sent down to the floor. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. A warning and a challenge from the Reaper to his opponent. And as a couple of Hall of Famers once said, it's time to get the tables. And he's able to fight Van Damme off. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Impressive counter. Ooh the challenger eating up some damage. Shifts it back onto him. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. A counter answered by another counter. Oh, my! Catches an uppercut. into the ring. The dead man has him up. Oh, we can have a new champion. Cover champ with immediate kick out there. How did he do that? I think the Undertaker might be happy about that kick out. He is dished out of beating and it looks like it's not done. Eats a punch to the face. Guys, did you think that this superstar would be able to get back into this match like this? Absolutely not. No way. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Change the whole match. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the heavens. Oh, God, God, God. You can literally see his soul leave his body as he crashed through the table. I have no idea how he's going to oh, be. I think the champ's got it. Very few superstars possess the fortitude to do what we just witnessed. Very few? How about almost none? This match just went to the next level. And Rob's not one to get too frustrated, but you have to think the sense of urgency is starting to kick in. <laughs> Can Undertaker withstand this onslaught? Everything's in Van Damme's favor now. Undertaker saw it. And I can see some fresh blood on the face of RVD now. The Undertaker with the cinch. Shot out of pen for the championship. The champion with a quick shoulder up. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. 
Now the time to find that second win. Find that rush of adrenaline to push you forward. Out of the ring and into hell itself. Oh, stiff uppercut. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh, a strong impact. Quick exchange of counters there. for The Undertaker here, not seeing his usually dominant form. Power slam! Looking for the victory! Are you kidding me? Not even a one count. Uh-oh, from way up high! Oh my God! The title change hands! New champ! No, it's not over! We knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away, and that's being proven right now. It's more like a champion's proving that sooner perish than lose their title. The Undertaker is now realizing that his opponent refuses to rest in peace. There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. And that holds RBD back. Undertaker is ready to collect another soul, gentlemen. Catches the kick. Table behind him now, not where you want to be. Uh-oh. Oh, the table exploded. That table exploded. I don't think we should be worried about the table, Saxon. There's a human being under the wreckage. He's heading back to the ring. Return fire from the Undertaker. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Well scattered reversal there. Placing them into the corner. And he's able to counter. Exactly where the dead man is headed. I bet he's going to the top rope, Byron. The old familiar sight. Oh! Uh -oh, new champion! And a quick kick out. Better hold off on the victory parade. Super kick! This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Just stomps in the bottom turnbuckle. But you guys don't think. Well, oh, I think so. That is a lot of ground to cover. Can RBD do it? He does that! Terminator! Can it be? Will the rain continue? Going up top. championship dreams. Well, let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp? And RBD searching for an explanation that just won't come. He wants to know how that didn't produce an end. And he wants to know what he has to do to finish this. Climbs back inside. Looks that can't be. No, no. The dead man has decided this ends now. Seeing a little bit of shock on The Undertaker's face. He's ended so many matches this way, but not this one. And now in the most dangerous area. 
perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh, what a presentation of power there. And the hits to the core keep coming. He avoids the damage. Setting up. to the chain link and closure. To the gut. The setup. Up and. Here goes. 
I think we finally have our answer as to just how far these competitors are willing to go to have their arm raised as champion at the end of this match. And what a price to pay to get set answer. Van Dam heads up. This is going to be good. Raw Van Dam. Champ will stay champ. There's two. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Let's take a look at some of the action that proves Hell in a Cell is the most dangerous match in WWE. Here is your winner. And still, the ECW World Heavy. Champion, Rob Van Dam. I can't imagine being able to celebrate, let alone stand, after a match like that. That's just the risk every superstar takes when they step between the ropes. You just always hope it doesn't happen to you. Certainly some rain incoming on their victory parade.